Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Mike B and today we're going to be going over my top five favorite camouflage patterns for summer up here in the Nordwoods of Wisconsin. Now, I get asked these questions a lot about what's the best camouflage pattern and what would I recommend. Um, it's a lot like asking what's the best firearm or what's the best car. There are a lot of factors that d determine my decision and it may vary from yours. Um, so what I'm going to do with this video, why the title's so long and everything, is because I'm going to narrow this down to A, my personal favorites, um, B, a very specific region location and then the northern half of Wisconsin. It's going to be a lot different than it is in like North Carolina or Arizona or California or the, you know, Northwest. It's going to be a lot different wherever you're at. So this is specifically upper Midwest, uh, Minnesota, Michigan, Southern Canada, up in this area. It's all basically a lot of um, deciduous forest. It's pines, a lot of it. Uh, but it's really green in the summer, believe it or not. Like even though we, it's white and disgusting and cold in the winter, it gets really green here with a lot of vegetation. We also have a lot of fields, we have a lot of agriculture, rolling hills and stuff around here that are also green, like really green during the summer. So we're gonna start out with my fifth choice, which you're looking at right now, which is one of my favorite patterns of all times. Uh, these also aren't all gonna be military patterns. So I'm gonna have a couple that aren't officially military, but they're very close and some military, like unconventional troops in, around the world have used it. So be prepared for that when we get to that one. I don't, I don't wanna have a bunch of people go, oh, it's not really a military pattern. This is just camouflage patterns in general. And again, these are my favorites. They're not necessarily the best per se. So. Number five is US uh, green dominant ERDL, as you can see right in front of you. Let's go take a closer look at this pattern and I'll, I'll explain to you why I like it. So I really am a fan of this pattern and I think it was so effective and it's probably a reason it's my favorite US camouflage pattern ever fielded, is um, if you noticed in nature, if you look out in nature, specifically up here where it's really green and you got a lot of vegetation, there are very few at a distance, there are very few defined sharp edges in the color schemes of vegetation and whatnot. You see a lot of stuff that fades in kind of together to the human eye. And this pattern does a really good job at blurring the edges of that. And uh, you can see right here, I'm just kind of giving you a close up that it's a four color scheme. You know, it's, I made another video on this, so I won't go into detail. But <clears throat> the, uh, the pattern itself is very effective and it's actually more effective when it's wet. Um, which is kind of an interesting thing, but you sweat a lot in the summer. And the, the other reason I really like this is because the jungle fatigues, the class twos right here made out of hundred percent cotton ripstop, they are super comfortable and really a dream to wear in the summer and the slanted pockets. It's arguably my favorite uniform that the U S ever fielded. So, uh, but yeah, that's again, that's my opinion. I just think the pattern's really effective. Now, the reason it's at number five is for a couple things. One, it's still a little bit too brown and the lime green, the lighter lime green is a little bit too light for how dark the vegetation is up here. And the second reason is practicality and affordability. This original that I have in my size, you know, extra fat, actually it's an extra large regular, in decent condition, this, this one's still a little bit faded, was $100 just for the shirt. So they're not exactly cheap, and the pants, I have never seen an original pair in my size, so I'm used to hoping for that. So the availability is really not there, and these are so collectible, and they're getting to be worth more and more every single day that I had to put it at number five. <clears throat> and because the pattern itself is just a little bit too brown and light green, if that makes sense. So number five on our list is the U.S. Green Dominant ERDL Camouflage. Number four on our list is going to be the Finnish M2005 Woodland Camouflage Pattern. So, interestingly enough, Scandinavia and the Upper Midwest in the United States have very similar climates and similar um, terrain and vegetation. It's not, it's not identical, but there's a reason that this area was settled by mostly Scandinavians. It's a very similar climate. It gets really hot and humid in the summer, and it gets really, really cold and nasty in the winter. So, who else to brave the storm than Finns, Swedes, and Norwegians? So it's no surprise that this actually works quite well up here in a similar um, terrain and environment as Finland. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at this. You'll notice it bears a striking resemblance to like the World War II German SS um, like oak pattern uh, mixed with some other stuff. It looks more digital. But yeah, this is a really effective pattern. It's got this kind of relish green and then a lighter lime green but it's not quite as light as the woodland erdl or the i'm sorry the green down to erdl 
So it actually blends in quite a bit better than the ERDL, and that's why it's here on the list. This is a custom uh, Jug of Teague shirt, by the way, that I sell on my website, MaxMilitary.com. Shameless plug. This is mine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a camouflage test video with this pretty soon once it actually gets to be summer out here because it's spring right now and everything's still dead. So once it gets green, I'm actually going to take this out and show you guys how effective it is. I'll try to do that with all these patterns and some I will have already done the test video on. But right now we're just going to look at this. So you've got this really nice, broken up, very kind of sporadic yet organized and it looks good pattern and that's a very similar um kind of color scheme to what it looks like around here especially up in the more rocky areas so we do have some rocky areas where i'm at and this works really well the reason it's number four and not higher is because a it's super expensive i have to buy the material from finland have it sent elsewhere and have it be made and pay to have it made and then pay to have it shipped that's why they're a little bit pricey, and even to get the finish made stuff is really pricey. I just like this cut of, of uniform a lot better, so that's my personal preference. But the pattern is all the same. The reason it's number four is because, again, just like the ERDL, there's a too much brown for around here. And a little bit too much black, even though it's not really black, it's just kind of a really dark grayish blue. But it, appears, it just kind of darkens up the pattern, like up here it looks a little bit more black because it's surrounded by green. It's a very interesting color scheme, to tell you the truth. It's a really cool pattern. I really, they put a lot of design and effort time into this, so that's why I like it. But number four is because it's expensive and it's got too much brown. Now we'll move on to number three. Number three on our list is, oddly enough, another Scandinavian pattern. We've got the Swedish M90. This particular garment is the Swedish M90L, or light, which is kind of false advertising because the material is a little bit heavy. But, um... I actually did a camouflage test video on this. I think, was it two years ago, one year ago? I don't remember. Anyway, it was a while back, so you can go check that out on my channel. It's uh, in my camo field test playlist or whatever it's called. <clears throat> anyway, this is a huge, geometric, blocky, ugly, but highly effective up here in the woods camouflage pattern. Um, I was not very far from the camera, just kind of crouched behind some brush not very heavy vegetation and i couldn't see myself in the video and i didn't have any face cam or anything on i just kind of tucked my head in and this works really well and it again it's ugly and whatever it's unique but it actually works pretty damn well and if you don't believe me go watch the video so let's go take a closer look at this so you'll notice like a lot of camouflage patterns it's a four color pattern you got the black the khaki the kind of olive green and the lighter lime green this is the same color scheme as what's around here as far as the kind of green tones. Uh, I know the camera's not picking it up quite realistically, but if I get a little bit closer, <clears throat> it's almost the exact shade of kind of the vegetation that grows around here. I only have one little complaint, and that's that the, I think there's too much khaki. I think there's a variant that had more of a brown, like a lighter brown in it, and I think that would be even more effective. But even with the khaki and the black, it really does well to conceal your position. Um, now the only drawback is that, like I mentioned, this material is really heavy. I don't know, I mean, I know the regular uniform is a lot heavier, but uh, the, these are just really heavy, the material in itself. Um, they are really utilitarian, they're comfortable, but they're heavy duty. I, th I think after a few washes it might break in. I haven't washed this that many times because I really haven't worn it that much. But I'll, uh, I'll give you a report on that in maybe a future video. And also, it can be really hard to find. I happen to also, once in a while, about once a year, I place a giant order from a little hidey hole source that I have, and I get a lot of this Swedish M90 stuff, and this is a hot seller. I just sold out of everything that I had um, recently, so I'll hopefully be getting some more soon. And I'm about the only place that I've seen, in the U.S. at least, that actually offers this. So it can be really hard to get, and that's why it didn't go higher on the list, and there's a couple patterns that I like better. So number three on our list is the Swedish M90 Woodland. Ah uh, yes, number two on our list, courtesy of our very apologetic, passive-aggressive, yet jolly friends from the north, Canada. So it's not really a surprise that because I live so close to the Canadian border and most of Canada's population is in the southern part of Canada, that they would have a camouflage pattern that works extremely well. This also works well in a large portion of the United States in general, um, but yeah, Cadpat Temperate Woodland is what this pattern is called. This is a genuine article. Most of what you're going to find for Cadpat is uh, knockoffs because they actually regulate this pattern in their clothing really strictly. But uh, you can go check out the other video that I have on this specific garment if you want to know the history and all that stuff. Now, let's go take a closer look and I'll explain to you why this pattern rocks up here in the upper Midwest. 
So remember when I mentioned the relish green on the Finish M05? Well, this thing's chock full of it. It's got kind of a lime green, a relish green, very little brown, which makes a huge difference because it gets more green than brown around here, and then black to darken it up. Now, this is a little bit faded, but it's still in really good shape. And, uh, yeah, even the, even the replica stuff really is pretty good. It's not as good as the real stuff, but, again, the real stuff's hard to get. So it's, it, it plays so high just because I've worn this before. Like when I was uh, in high school, I used to play paintball religiously in the mid-2000s. And I got a set of the front and act, which is almost the same pattern as this. It's, it's the most identical. They don't make it anymore. But I got a set of that, and I was damn near invisible when we were playing paintball in the summertime. My friends all said that. I had people walk by me, and it was just like, wow, I'm wearing like a cloaking device because it works that well in this specific, specific vegetation. So you can see it's the, you know, it's the first official pixelated pattern that was ever adopted by a major military. Well, major military, that's debatable, but you know what I mean. Part of NATO, we'll say. And uh, it just works incredibly well. And the only reason it isn't in the top spot is because there's a pattern I like better. And this is so hard to find the real stuff. Hopefully someday when Can when Canada switches their uniforms, they won't just wear these to the ground. And they'll just surplus them out and uh, I'll be able to get them. But until then, here's to hoping. So Cad Pat is a solid second. It's a very close tie. And up until I recently uh, discovered this next pattern a couple years ago, this would have been number one in the top spot. But now we're going to move on to number one, and I'll explain to you why this did not make the top spot. Before we get to our number one, I just wanted to slip in a little honorable mention there just to uh, appease the Rusaboos about my audience. Um, Russian EMR. This is a pretty cool pattern. I don't know exactly where I would have placed it in the list, but it didn't make the top five quite. It's probably about number six or possibly seven, depending on other things that I'll talk about in a little bit. But at a distance, it just kind of looks like it's all of drab. I did another video on this on the Camouflage of the World series. It's not a terrible pattern. There are better patterns, and the only reason it didn't make the top five is because the actual colors that they used don't really fit. It looks like light kind of green or brown at a distance. It's a weird thing, and it doesn't quite match the actual hues that are around here in the summer. Um, I, maybe it would be better in the fall. I don't know. I haven't tested it then. But... Honorable mention is Russian EMR. Coming in at a rock solid first place for the North Woods up here is going to be Multicam Tropic. Now, I was wearing this in, a, uh, I think, one or two of my Range Ninja videos, and I had a bunch of people asking me what the hell this was because they hadn't seen it because it's not technically a military pattern. Uh, Multicam at one point was used by the military, but this color variation, this this style of Multicam, I don't think is has been issued in large numbers to any military personnel anywhere. I mean, unconventional troops, they buy their own shit sometimes, so perhaps they did it, but I've really never seen this in military use. However, this is the most effective camouflage pattern that I have personally seen so far up here in northern Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota, Michigan, southern Canada. And we'll go take a closer look, and I'll explain to you why that is, and then we'll wrap the video up. Multicam in general is a pretty cool pattern. Um, I, I will have to say it's always been one of my favorites. Now, when they came out with this, I don't remember exactly when they came out with it. I didn't know about this until about four years ago. And they but they basically took the multicam pattern, which you can see this is the licensed stuff, and they just changed the color scheme up a little bit to be more quote-unquote tropical. Well, you've still got the nice faded blending of colors right there, and you've got the nice horizontal kind of shapes, I guess you want to call them, little things. But you changed it to a way more like relish and olive green mixed with kind of a really dark brown and then black, and then you lighten it up just to tap out the khaki, and this particular shade of green is the relish green I was talking about that is everywhere up here in the summer. And then the second most common color is that particular shade of green as well. So you combine that, it's a four color pattern, or five color it looks like. It's a simplified version of multicam, but it's actually better. I think that they should have gone with this for, like they should issue two uniforms like they did with the BDUs. They should issue this for a woodland environment or like stateside and then regular multicam or scorpion rather uh, should be issued for like arid and desert semi-arid environments and they should have two uniforms i think this should be one of them because this works so incredibly well i'll be doing a camouflage test video this summer and you'll probably just be watching a bunch of vegetation on the screen until i move because you won't be able to see me i guarantee you 
Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. If you've ever seen this before, if you have any experience with it. Uh, Brent0331, if you're watching. I don't know if you've done a video with this yet. But um, yeah, let me know what you think too, if you've ever seen this stuff. All right, we'll wrap the video up now. And I'll just, um, just kind of keep the uh, camera on this amazing pattern. All right, so that's that, guys. Um, this is, again, my top five, or six if you want to count the EMR, recommendations. Um, this does not mean that there are not better and more effective patterns for you know either where you live or up here. This is just all based off of my personal experience. So um, I understand that Pencott Green Zone is a really popular one, and it looks like it would be really effective. I just didn't want to throw something in here that I've personally not witnessed around this area because I wanted to keep it you know, rather... This is how I would actually recommend. This is right here. What you're looking at is what I would recommend to somebody that wants, you know, a, a kind of all-purpose uniform, go paintball and just do whatever, just look cool. But this is the most effective pattern that I've seen work up here in the North Woods of Wisconsin. And, um, you know, so extends over to like Minnesota, Michigan, Southern Canada. Probably actually be good all the way kind of down the center of the country where it's pretty green, like Missouri and stuff. But I don't know because I don't live there and I have never seen it work. So, <laughs> yeah, anyway... I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. And um, if you consider becoming a supporter on Patreon, and it would allow me to get more camouflage patterns to test around, and then I'd be able to make more accurate recommendations. Again, this is not the end-all, be-all video. This is what I would recommend. I get asked this a lot, you know, what, what works really well. I think there was somebody from Minnesota that commented a while back. This is what I'd recommend is Multicam Tropic. I think TrueSpec owns the rights to this particular pattern. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that, but they seem to be the only ones that make the real stuff. This is 50-50 nylon cotton. It's exactly like the Army Combat uniform. And, uh, the, you know, this stuff's got the logo, as you saw, in the pattern. That's how you know it's legit. It's a little bit pricey. It's like $70 per garment, so it's like 140 bucks for the set. But it's built really tough, and I've washed the pants several times because I wear those around, and they still are holding their color pretty well. So this is what I would recommend um, 100% for up here. No questions asked. So hopefully someday, with support from Patreon, I can get more patterns to test. And um, yeah, consider becoming a supporter. It's a dollar a month, 12 bucks a year. The link to that is in the description. Five bucks a month or more gets you into my Discord server, which is pretty fun and interactive. So go check that out. It's a fun time and it will help support the channel and do like ballistic tests on helmets and hopefully body armor and camouflage test videos and all that stuff to help educate you guys. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Let me know if you got any questions. Um, I know I'm going to have a million people. Oh, this pattern works better. I Again, this is my personal experience. You're probably right. Um, but again, there's there's also no you know one perfect pattern. I mean, what if Pencott, Green Zone, and this work exactly the same? That means they're both number one because they work. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'll make another video on personal preference. Just the same thing as firearms. But anyway, Multicam Traffic for the win. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you on the next Top 5 video.